It was a bit of a rocky start for Johannesburg's mayor to report on the state of the city of gold. The EFF raising several objections. Then eventually it simmered down to business, the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic occupying center stage. Well, this has the Department of Health announced a spike in infections in the province, with Johannesburg spiking over the past two weeks. This was governments around the world to effectively abandon what, whatever hopes and dreams they had had for the advancement of their respective citizens and divert resources towards responding to the single most fatal health emergency of our generation. However, Madam Speaker, perhaps the most worrying any evidence indicated to us that the health and economic impacts of the coronavirus were going to be carried disproportionately by the poor, creating a kind of social crisis with potential to weaken economies while changing jobs. Makubo also took a swipe at his predecessor, Herman Mashaba, saying he inherited internal systems near collapse. We inherited an institution not only lacking experience, but one that was riddled with governance failures in the areas of procurement as evidenced by challenges around the fleet management. The policies of insourcing, although well intended, let me repeat, the policies of insourcing, although well intended, good intentions were peppered with maladministration and corruption, threatening the stability of the institution from within and from outside. Ironically, Mashaba's political party action essay protested outside the venue, crying foul. This ticket is because the murders that are happening in Hebrew. It's because the high-tech buildings that are taken in Sunnyside. It's because in Alexandra now, as we speak, the people of Alexandra don't have water. Land grabs also a bone of contention. Unlawful occupation of land is largely caused by, amongst others, trying to jump the queue of housing allocation, the criminal act of illegal selling of land, and encouragement of unlawful land occupation for financial gain or political gain. So the question of land ownership and rights will be a key focal point during the upcoming local government elections. Johannesburg is one of the centers of land grabs. So the mayor says a unit tasked to prevent land grabs will take prompt action on site. So he says the unit will ensure invaders vacate the land. Illegal structures will be demolished. But the EFF says its land policy remains unchanged. The people are hungry for land and they're hungry for a place to call home. If there's a piece of land that is there idling and is not utilized for anything, they must continue to go and occupy it and build themselves homes. Because the government is failing them. There are a lot of uh, programs that the mayor had touched, uh, you know, uh, relating to housing, uh, the issue of formalization of informal settlements, the issue of providing uh, social houses and flips, the issue of, of, of student accommodation. So all those uh, programs uh, that the mayor has uh, spoken to, so they are uh, going to be launched very soon. What we have seen are PR stunts, including the 120 days of accelerated service delivery, as well as various wars on potholes, amongst other things, none of which have resulted in actual solutions on the ground. What we should have seen from the executive mayor were real solutions to real problems faced by real people. And that is not what was provided today. I thank you. The die has been firmly cast. The political overtones are clear. An election is just over the hill. Chris Alder Lewis, SABC News in Johannesburg.